What's going on my stock market bulls and bears? I am your host Terry Z. Welcome to the channel by the dip. All right guys, let's get into it. Probably the most controversial stock that you can talk about on the stock market. Good old Genus, Genus, Genius Brands. Love it. They are just back at it again. If you look here on Robinhood, they have some pretty good news coming up. I'm pretty excited about this news as you guys see. I do have 100 shares and we're going to get down here to it they have a three now keep one thing here in mind before we get into it their market cap is only 347 million dollars so they have a lot of room to grow which is really good and i can say that genos is really trying to make something happen they're not just sitting around so that's why i do see potential in this stock if you own it a lot of people rag on it but I honestly think there is something here. I, I, did, I just have that feeling. These guys just keep putting out news. But anyway, as you can see, um, August 10th, the mega hit Yu-Gi-Oh! joins the Cartoon Channel, which is going to be the Genius Brands International. So that's pretty cool. They, uh, they, they keep on building up their... This Genius Brands International just keeps growing. They got the Cartoon Channel. If you go to their website, it's all about kids and parents right now need stuff for their kids to watch to keep them occupied so they can focus on what they need to do but the big news is going to be here around the Stan Lee superhero kindergarten as you guys know from my other video that Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be a part of it along with he is going to be a huge shareholder in Genius Brands so Genus here put out a newsletter, the CEO put out a newsletter on Genius Brands, so let's get in here to it. Genius Brands International Issues, Issues CEO Newsletter. So right here, coming out today at 9.15 a.m. And Genius Brands International, the global brand management company that creates and licenses multimedia entertainment for children, Released a newsletter to shareholders and chairman, CEO Andy Hayward, the complete letter follows. So let's get down here to it. Dear friends and shareholders, SpongeBob SquarePants, in my opinion, is the most clever and well-written children's series of the last 20 years. I share this because Genius Brands slash Genus, we hired the same head writer as SpongeBob, Stephen Banks, to be the head writer of Stan Lee's Superhero Kindergarten. Wow, are you kidding me? Gee, I cannot believe this stock is not blowing up today on that news. I mean, who hasn't heard of SpongeBob SquarePants, guys? I mean, has to be the most modern day, iconic children's show of all time. I mean, SpongeBob, this guy's been out forever. He's very popular, kids love him merchandise out the wazoo i mean even if you don't watch it everyone's heard of spongebob squarepants he's kind of like the hulk hogan of kids cartoon i mean even if you don't watch wrestling there's certain people you know who they are like the rock stone cold and hulk hogan just like cartoons you know they're spongebob bugs bunny you know people like that so i think this is like phenomenal news and when you start like putting all the pieces together, so you're gonna have Genius Brands teaming up with the guy that wrote SpongeBob, Stephen Banks, for over 20 years. You still got the name of Stan Lee, which still the name alone um, has an impact, I think, on Stan Lee fans. And now you got the superhero kindergarten, which is also gonna be has Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice down here. So that is just crazy. You guys can get on here and read this if you would like to. If you just go to the Robin Hood, click on that Bazinga link, takes you right to the newsletter here. You can check it out. But I think this is like just phenomenal news. I mean, this company is always putting out great and fantastic news. They are really trying to make something happen with this brand they are really trying to grow this brand now only if our government could do the same thing for us american people our government has failed us 
And I really believe that if we go here to the Robin Hood, it says that there's 20 employees at Genius. I think those 20 employees at Genius could run our government better than both Democrats and Republicans because they're both failing. They cannot agree to get a bill passed. So why don't we just get Genius Brands to go in, vote on a stimulus package, and get some money out to the people and help the economy out. So let's go Genius, man. You guys are trying. They're always in the news with something. They are just working it up. I'm really excited about this news. I hope you guys are as well. And I'm really thinking about buying more Genos. I mean, I have 100 shares right now. And I'm not going to get into you know the loss here because that's kind of irrelevant. Because I did, uh, I sold, I sold a put option, made money, got assigned the shares, and then I also been selling calls ever since, making my money back weekly. So it's really not that big of a loss. I think I'm like 30 or 40 bucks down by the time you subtract it all out. But I see this stock. On, I mean, I'm I, call me crazy. I could be crazy, but I see this stock growing, man. As soon as this show comes out. They also released the action figures into the Walmart and things like that. I think they're on Walmart and Amazon now, Amazon Prime. You can order, I think it's the Rainbow Warriors um, brand they have out here. But it is just like crazy. I'm so excited. So, guys, I hope you found this news really good because I surely did as a shareholder of Genos. So, all right, guys, smash that like button if you like this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, buy the dip.